Hello everyone, and welcome back to John Bell's Iconic Military Models. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at this uh, 3D printed tilt and swing stand that's going to actually be perfect for the construction of this uh, Trumpeter Titanic. And I also think that in, in because it's modular built, it'll also be perfect for the Hachette uh, Titanic as well. And this has been sent to me to have a look at from Andrew over at 3D model space it's actually andrew 3d model space okay so i worked in engineering for 10 years so pretty much one of the jobs i used to do was obviously a jig, jig maker so i know the importance of uh, working with jigs and when i built my yamato when i planked on my yamato i made myself a very crude wooden tilt and swing jig so i could tilt it to one side to plank it and tilt it the other side so when i said so when andrew contacted me and said about showed me his uh is 3D printed uh, tilt and swing stand. I was really interested because, like I say, as we all know, it's it, these jigs are perfect. Where you can want to work on super ships like this way, and then if you want to kind of work at it, you can tilt that. And I'll show you that it tilted in a bit. So I just think these are why these jigs are really good. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll remove the uh, the trumpet to Titanic out of the hull. I'll strip it back to parts, and I'll show you just how easy this this goes together. Okay, so I've just uh, quickly uh, stripped this stand back down. It literally took two minutes because when I kind of test bit it, I've not put the uh, the main fixing screws in. So like I said, I'm going to show you how to put them in now. So you kind of built up with four main swinging arms. So I'll show you how they work in a minute. So we get four of them. And then we get these four 300 mil center dividers and then to get four 350 mil center dividers and these can be kind of used in a different kind of order you can use a couple of 300s and you can use maybe four 350s or you could use a couple of 350s and use four 300s it all kind of depends on kind of the size of the model you're working with and then you get four end supports i class two as female Two and male, two as male, and I'll show you how they work as well. And then we get these center columns as well that can be adjusted up and down. Okay, so this is the uh, the main construction, the main part of this jig. And we get two adjustable arms for the port and starboard side, and these are all individually divided at five mil. So you pretty much you can set this. Where you want this is brand new so the uh, they kind of still a little bit stiff but the more you use them the more they get to be worn in so like i say you can kind of line that peg up and then tighten that off and then you can pretty much then adjust this in and out for whatever kind of size model that you want to use and pretty much same again if you want to really use a really small hull you can bring it in or if you've got a really obviously uh, a wide beam you can take it all the way out and then also, if you've got a really high one, you can also adjust these arms on the top as well. So there is five, four little holes. So you, you are a little bit set to uh, where you have to adjust these. You can only have really have these in four preset positions. But what I was noticing if, when you're kind of doing that, that you can actually just kind of screw that. And if you're not lined up with a hole, it will actually kind of pinch that. So you are going to have a little bit more adjustment but they are actually designed where you line them up with the holes and then screw them all the way through. So you line them up with that hole and then you screw it back in. But like I say, you can kind of pinch it and hold it in the middle. I do actually personally think, I think it'd be better designed with a complete slot so that you could just move it up, on release that, move it up and down and then tie it off. Like you do with this construction, I do think that would be slightly a little bit easier. So then we've got this central support column as well. This can be raised to quite high, high, uh, high tolerance. So same again, it's got five preset holes. So you want it right at the top, and you just unscrew these, and then you screw them into whatever preset height that's best suited your model. Once you've kind of put them two pins in the top height, and you can set it to uh, to whatever height you want. I say, all you do is just move these little pegs up and down. So we've got this middle one as well, and this controls the main tilt function. So we unscrew that one, and you can tilt it 
all the way up to uh, 50 degrees one side you can up to 50 degrees the other side same again it's brand new so it's going to be uh, a little bit stiff but the more you use it the more it will work its way free okay so that's the main functions of the arms you get four arms like i say you know you can use two if you want to and that's why i think it'd be quite good for the hatchet build because the hatchet build gets kind of built in sections so like I say once you get like uh, enough to kind of get maybe uh, the bow section of your hatchet build is there you can kind of sit it there and then you can add more of the whole sections as we get them and then you can add more of these to that build as well and you, this could this jig can actually grow with your hatchet build Okay, so I'll show you how this kind of construction goes together. So like I said, we get these, uh, these two females and these two males. And, uh, okay, so this female part can only go one way. So you kind of get it like that without a half, half section there. It's facing down you just push that through. And you get one either side. It's kind of up to you how you want these parts. I'm left-handed, so I'll have my part facing in. If you're right-handed, you probably want your parts facing that way, but it doesn't really make any difference to the construction. Okay, so then you can go and decide what you want to use first. So I'm just going to take two uh, 350 mil ones. Same again, these can only kind of go one way, so you use that pretty much where the sign and do 3D.net facing down, and you push that in. Okay, so now this is where you get a bag full of these little bolts. And they all come with a tiny little uh, Allen key head. So I've probably got one of them in my, uh, my wow stick box. I'm not sure if you actually, if Andrew sends the uh, Allen key with the kit, I'll have to confirm that with him. Okay, so I found the uh, the head I need in my little wow stick box. This is the uh, H1.5. Now I feel these little bolts just perfect. So let's like say you've got loads of holes where all these little bolts need fitting. There's two there. There's three on the bottom. But I'm just going to put a couple in just for the uh, purposes of the video. And all we do is just screw these in. You just wherever you see a little hole in the entire jig construction you just put a little one of these bolts in so i'll just put just one more in just for the uh purpose of the video this is my uh the wow stick you can uh you can get these it's brilliant these are actually brilliant for these kind of constructions So all I do now is go around and put two more in, another one there, and the same again. So what I'm going to do now is just take another one of these 350 ones, and, then, and obviously pushing the uh, pushing the male side in. Let's say leaving the female side free. But I don't know if you can say that anymore. But yeah, what else would you call it? It's, it's like the male and female part. So all you do now is take another one of these uh, these arms, and you can already set these up to the the height of the first one, or you can adjust them later. So I'll just adjust these later. So what I'm going to do, these kind of overlap each other, so I'll kind of push this all the way up to that one, and then same again. This is where we'd kind of go around and put some more of these little uh, these little bolts in. So I'll just put one more. On this section we've got three holes so you want to make sure that you don't put one in the middle first because obviously you can't put the next uh, support in so you want to just kind of put uh, another bolt in either side or like I say you can just go around and do them all after
Okay, so we're now to uh, we've got two sections. This is what I'm talking about, where you could quite quite easily start to build like the Hachette Titanic in this, because it's quite nice. So you just adjust this to fit the, uh, the narrow bow, and then we can have this adjusted to where we start to work his way towards onto the midships. So like that, you, you can sit that in there, work on this, and then as we start to add more plates, you could let it grow. But because I'm going to build this in my trumpeter one today. I'm going to completely build the entire jig. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just add a 300 into the middle. Same again, just having it facing down. Same again, male goes in, facing down. And then we'll just keep adding these sections in. So another one of them. And then, as like I said, well, depending on what model you want to, you can add another 300 or another 350. So I think for the sake of this video, I'll just add one more 300 either side. And then finally, you just get your last plate. You can see how wide this is getting now. And when, you, when you're finally done all that, that's when you take your last plug this is the male one, and this kind of finishes off the uh, jig assembly. And then same again, all you do is just go around filling up every single hole with these little bolts. So I'll just put a couple on this end. Like I say, all you do now is go around and use this little bag of all these bolts. Just pretty much wherever you see a little hole, just put a little bolt. Okay, so that's the main construction of the uh, the jig. Third, so it just shows you just how easy that works. Just put them on that side by side each other, so it's nice and level. Okay, so all I'm going to do first, I'm just going to slightly open up these arms. And bring across the uh, trumpeter hull. Okay, so I've got the trumpeter hull. All we really need to do now is kind of lay this in pretty much exactly where you kind of want to work in. There's no real set rule to where it goes. And then all we start to do is just adjust these little arms either side and then we can just push it all together kind of hold it in place and just, just adjust all the other ones and pretty much until you squeeze the hole together and then if you need to make any adjustments so this uh, fits all nice all the uh, little supports at the bottom are all leveled and then you kind of adjust it why the hull sat in the jig. So every hull is not a flat bottom hull, so this is where the cent uh, central columns will start to uh, kind of come into their own. But because once it tight it's quite, uh, quite a flat bottom hull, we can pretty much have all these central columns pretty much all flat and then probably just taper slightly, raise at the, the right of the stern. Okay, so now you've got your your trumpeter hull sat in your jig. This is where it's kind of now nice and easy, where you can then start to add some of your like your forecastle. Why it's nicely sat in the jig. Once it's all ready to be good to go, you can kind of get this included in place. But for me, for one of the reasons that I like things as well is sometimes it's quite difficult to kind of work over. So this is where the the, the tilt the tilt capabilities are really good. So pretty much all you have to do now is. Just, just some do these little central screws. And this is where you can kind of start then to turn this whole facing yourself. So 
I'm going to tilt it all the way to 50 degrees. And then you probably just need to do a bit more adjustment, make sure it's all nice and pinned. But then you can kind of work on it facing towards you. And all you really have to do is just to make sure it doesn't start to move. But I don't think it's, it feels quite firm, so I don't think it'll move that much. But I'm just going to put all your, all your central pins back in. And that's going to lock them all in place. So then if you want to work on the port side again, all you do is tilt it all the way back 45 degrees to starboard so you can get access to the port side. Okay, so I hope you uh, found this video useful for this uh, really amazing jig. Like I say, if you want to obviously get yourself one of these jigs, these are available at Andrew 3D Model Space. And I'll put a link for his shop in the description. Like I say, people are really interested in it. He's also got uh, a 350 scale jig as well. It looks exactly the same as this. It'll obviously fit on my uh, 350 scale builds that I've got to work on as well. So I can show you that in the future as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I say, let people know who's interested in this uh, trumpeter build. I'm actually can now uh, carry on this i've been waiting to uh, save up for the uh, the scale deck so i've got that now and it was on a hold a little bit as well but now i've, I've actually been contacted by neil at woolies model works and he's just going to send me his mk1 set when i save up for my own because obviously it's just so i can kind of progress with the build because like i say it probably take me around about six months to save for that so neil's going to kindly offer to me take his and then i'll buy him one back a little bit down the road so anyway, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you all again soon. Take care everyone.